silent bat call whistle of yours is gonna wake up the whole school, Casper. I don't get it. I must have done something wrong when I made it. It's not supposed to make an actual noise, only sonic waves to attract the bats. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Try it again. You probably didn't blow into it right. <laughs> oh. So, this is what you've been using to wake up the entire school? Uh... I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to make that noise. I was just trying it out. Listen, Casper. We commend your efforts in making terrifying <laughs> noises. But please, save it for the fleshy and oh. let your fellow pupils get a proper night's sleep. I just heard the most wonderfully abominable <laughs> noise. This whistle? <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous! This is exactly the sound I need for my eardrum bursting organ. <laughs> then I'm sure Casper would be more than happy to give it to you. <sighs> and now, everyone, back to bed. It sounds like there's more than one. It sounds kind of dangerous, Casper. Exactly. That's why we have to check it out. <gasps> oh, oh, no! <gasps> what? <laughs> Bob monsters in the school. Did you hear that? They made the same sound as your whistle. Oh, no. That's what must have lured them here. Again? I thought myself clear! <laughs> Gargoyles, you show these intruders the door whilst we go and hide. Uh, get help. <laughs> what is that perfume you're wearing? <laughs> 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 this is horrible. We have to do something before they turn us all into bug monsters. Quick, the whistle. I'll use it to lure them back out of the school. Huh? Huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Rock, Mantle, follow me. Hi there. Uh. Mantle. Uh oh. <laughs> Something. We have to turn her back into Mantha. Quick, to Professor Burns' lab. <laughs> you, that's close. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Huh? <laughs> <Yikes>! <laughs> 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 it's too awful. Can't you run any faster? Can't you run faster? <laughs> hey, you, Boggy! Uh, 
What if Professor Burns has been turned into a bog monster? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he's asleep. And listen, that sound's coming from him. And he's the one making all the noise. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what? The knights are attacking? Um, Professor Burns, I think you swallowed my whistle. You what nonsense! I put it down there on the... But how could that be? Oh. Can you see anything, Casper? Yes, I see the whistle. It's in your throat, sir. Interesting. Maybe I can cough it out. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Wait, sir, I've got an idea. <laughs> Stop that, Casper! It tickles! <laughs> uh, hi, Mantha. It's me, Ra. Uh, they're putting that arm on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I got it at last. Hey, what, Mantha? Yeah, what in the world? A bog monster here? Oh, oh. Mantha, uh, Ra, how did you do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. When Professor Burns burst out laughing, it, I mean, she really looked like she hated it. Wait, if memory serves me correctly. There, bog monsters are dark, lugubrious creatures. Yes, yes, that hate laughter. Because it deprives them of all of their powers. Oh. Ooh. Laughter, huh? Professor Burns, could you lend me a feather duster? Uh, yes. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> it's horrible! I can't watch! No. <sighs> Whoa. Uh, what are you looking at? Do I have a pimple on the end of my nose or something? Mantha! You're back! Woohoo! Oh, Mantha, good to have you back. Now let's deal with the rest of them. <laughs> All right, Jasper. I'll trap them in the monster catcher. Tickle, tickle. Come on, Bloggies. Do the bog monster boogie. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Good 
good idea, Casper. Let's get rid of that darn whistle once and for all. Hmm. No, please, please, Mr. Bog Monster. I'll let you turn all the children in the school into Bog Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Possessed after all, my mistake. Detention after class, the three of you. <gasps> Maybe then Casper will see turning invisible ain't so clever after all. Oh man. I can't believe it. Two more whole hours of detention. And it wasn't even my fault. Sorry, guys. I was just trying to liven things up. You know, if there was a way for me to get us out of detention, I totally would. No. <laughs> hmm. Sir, I just wanted to say a big sorry for my using my invisibility in class earlier. I couldn't help myself. After all, it is pretty easy to do. It's not just ghosts. Anyone can do it if they know the secret instructions. Secret instructions, huh? Okay, first thing you do is, um... Cross your eyes, make a stupid face, tickle yourself, turn 360 degrees, and touch your nose. With your foot. Oh, and don't forget the bit when you curtsy while singing, I'm a pretty princess. That part's like really important. I'm a pretty princess. Is that it? <laughs> Whoa! Where'd he go? He completely disappeared. Oh. Woohoo! It worked! I'm invisible! That's amazing. I've never known anyone to pick it up so fast. <laughs> sir? Sir? Are you there? We can't see you. <laughs> you can't see me! <laughs> you don't know where I am! Hey, wait a minute! How come I can still see my own feet if I'm invisible? Uh, because your eyes are only invisible on the outside? Hmm, that must be it. Anywho, how about we cut detention short? I bet you got lots of invisible stuff to do. Yeah, get out of here. You go back to your dorms. I'm busy. <laughs> Casper, you're a genius. I didn't think it'd be so easy. I feel kind of bad. He'll realize soon enough and then be too embarrassed to ever mention it. Ooh, beware! I am a haunted sandwich! See how I float in the air? Watch me now disappear! <laughs> he ate my lunch! Here, have some lipstick because a little slime makes it come. I don't get it. Ah! Everybody look! Ah! I'm Cappy, and I can ah! fly! Mm -hmm. I am the invisible romancer. My identity forever a mystery. Here to serenade beautiful ladies. <laughs> Good thing I'm invisible, or that'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> Raggy huh? Chip oh. Teacher's gone nuts. He thinks he's invisible. He pretended my sandwich was haunted, then ate it himself. Huh? He painted mustaches on our faces. Huh? So you mean he's not invisible? We should complain to Algerine Dash this instant. Guys, I have a teeny suspicion this might all be our fault. Shh. Frank and Chip Teacher, 
What's all this about you being invisible? Huh? Surprised you guessed it was me. But yep, it's true, all right. I am able to turn invisible, as I shall now demonstrate. Now, what was it again? Aha! <laughs> He's showing them our tricks to be invisible. I am a pretty princess. And poof! I am now completely invisible. <laughs> and while I'm invisible, I'd like to take the opportunity to say that I've always had a lot of respect for you, sir. I've never been so insulted. Uh-oh. I'm not invisible, am I? You're suspended. Huh? You've lost your marbles. Get out! Uh. Sir, please, you have to give him a second chance. It wasn't his fault. Casper, no, no. We can't have a loony teacher teaching here at Skaz School. The only way we'd reinstate him was if we actually saw him teach his classes invisible. <laughs> <laughs> huh? But he can turn invisible. And like you said, if Frank and Jim teacher teaches his class tomorrow completely invisible, then you'll reinstate him. Thanks, sir. What? Wait, Casper! Huh? Uh, sir, we made up that invisible thing to get out of detention. Sorry. Ah, oh, I deserved it. I'm such a flathead. Go away. Leave me alone. But Casper has a plan. It'll get you reinstated as a teacher for sure. And all we need is just one tiny little favor. Hmm? How's that gonna help? You'll see. <laughs> Ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Right, you little squirts. Time for gym class. And as you can see, I decided to teach today completely invisible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm, what's this doing here? <laughs> now. I'm good at sniffing trouble, so no messing about, or I'll have your butts. Stupid. That's buttman. Moss head, don't pinch your nose, it's disgusting. Now, ready? Arms out to your side, and march on the spot. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Get those knees up! Sir, I don't have knees. Can I be excused? Spotnet! No! Well, that was Johnny. <laughs> right, you little squirts. Time for gym class. Hmm. Didn't he already say that? Ugh. Oops, I lost my place. And, as you can see, I've decided to teach today. Sniffing butts. My head, pinch your nose. Ra, what are you doing? I've lost my place. Very good. Now it's okay. Now, run toward me. Walk across the beam and jump onto the mat. <laughs> Keep that balance. Slowly. 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 Keep that balance. Slowly. Slowly. I can Something is going on here. I don't know what it is, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. Ah! Oops. <laughs> Whoa. Where's Casper? Why isn't Casper here? I demand he be here. <laughs> Sir, did you call me? Sorry, I'm late. I had to go to the bathroom. Really? Well, how about this? If Frank and Gym Teacher truly is out there invisible, then he should be able to pick up that medicine ball over there. 
bring it over here and hand it to you. Simple enough. Meanwhile, we're going to keep our four eyes on Casper here just to make sure he's not up to anything. Huh? Very good! Uh... What? How did you do that? Huh? That's, That's impossible! Casper, <laughs> 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 I don't know how you did it, but fine, till I do. Frank and Jim Teacher is officially reinstated. Oh, thank you, sir. Huh? <laughs> Casper, I saw everything! How'd you do it? How'd you move the ball? Yeah! How did you do it? Did you use your telekinetic powers? No. Alder and Dash had their eyes on me all the time. They'd have known. Huh? Oh. Oh. Normally, I would never condone misbehavior of this sort against the principal. But I couldn't sit back and see Frank and Jim teacher suspended. Besides, if he was, who'd be around to serenade me? Oh. <laughs> you guys really helped me out. Thanks. Only there is one more small thing you could do for me, if you don't mind. Anything. This'll teach you for making a member of staff look stupid. Oh. Dad, I'm way too old for bedtime stories. Really? I guess I'll have to find out what happens to Little Red Riding Hood on my own. You can stop now. He's gone. <laughs> and the award for the best screamer in a child's bedroom goes to Jimmy Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing along, Jimmy. The bedroom scare test is one of the toughest there is. Anytime. I'm always happy to practice my scared face. <gasps> you can stop now, Jimmy. The camera's gone. It's not that. I just remembered I forgot to do my math homework. Jimmy, you joker. <laughs> This is the worst night of the year. I hate creeping into kids' rooms and scaring them silly. <laughs> Why can't we just make them a nice mug of hot chocolate? Because it's the bedroom scare challenge, Casper, not the make a nice mug of hot chocolate challenge. We should have that challenge. I make great hot chocolate. <laughs> that kid's so scared, he's clinging to the ceiling. I'm winning the prize for the best bedroom scare for sure. That golden scream is all <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Golden Screech, more like. By picking up so many readings, I've lost count. The monster detectors hit 5.2 gigaboos. That's a new record. I don't know where to go first. Onward! <laughs> This is not my night. I can't even scare you guys. <laughs> bedroom scare didn't go too well for you, huh? What bedroom? The kid was asleep in front of the TV. I had to jump out from under his sofa in the front room. You think they'll fail me for that? I'm sure you'll get extra marks for ingenuity. This is my stuff. The Finkelbergers. Go on. Don't want to be late for your big scare. Maybe I should come back later. You know, to be extra scary. We know you don't like scaring fleshies, but you heard Alder and Dash. Anyone flunking the bedroom scare gets kicked straight out of scare school. <laughs> Ow! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 Hmm. Huh? Whoa! Huh? What a 
Whatever, Bozo. Some of us are trying to get some sleep here. Huh? Oh. Anyone flunking the bedroom scare gets kicked straight out of scare school. Rah! I'm a ghost! <laughs> I don't care if you're a ghost, a vampire, or my Harry and Ethel. I ain't scared of anyone. Well, if you're not scared of me, maybe we can be friends. I'll just tidy up a bit so I can sit down and have a chat. Looks like he could use a bath. No! Keep your hands off my stuff! A uh, bath? What a stupid idea! We ain't never gonna be friends. Look out, ghosty! Here's Freddy! Dumb ghost thinks he can scare me. Not scared, fearless Freddy. A whole bunch of signals coming from the Finkelberger house. There's not a moment to lose. So why am I wasting time making those? Please, one more try. I've got a great idea. What's better than one scary monster? Three scary monsters. Huh? Pathetic! Here's Freddy! So we would like to congratulate you all on a fantastic night of scares. But the golden screen for best bedroom scarer goes to... That! His flushing is still clinging to the ceiling. That's because I covered the ceiling in super glue. What's this? It seems someone didn't complete the challenge. Casper, you know huh? what happens to anyone who doesn't pass this test. I tried my best, honest. But that kid is impossible to scare. Then Mantha, Ra, and me all tried together. Nothing. Three monsters in his bedroom and still not scared? Who is this boy? Freddy Finkelberger, a.k.a. Fearless Freddy. My goodness, it appears that nobody has ever managed to scare Freddy. Even as a baby. Extraordinary. What? This boy is making a laughing stock of us all! Never mind that. Can I get my prize? No! Uh -huh. The prize for the best bedroom scarer will now go to whoever manages to scare Fearless Freddy in his bed tonight. <laughs> Bad feeling about this. Look on the bright side. At least it's taken their minds off kicking you out of school. Hmm. You wanna see Freddy? Oh, what's he done now? Skateboarded through your flower bed? Blown up the science lab? Again? Nothing like that, ma'am. Last night there was a load of spooky activity in your house, and I suspect tonight they'll be back for more. I would have set a trap in his bedroom to catch them in the act. Ha! <laughs> Good luck setting up anything in that pigsty of his. That boy never cleans up after himself. Freddy, get out here! This nice gentleman wants to put a ghost trap in your room. And what's in it for me? You'll be helping save your town from monsters. I'll buy you a new skateboard? Fine, but make it a good one. This way, Granddad. Try not to trip on the jump. Uh -huh. Ow! <laughs> Remember, children, stay out of sight until it's your turn. was the fourth one in, and no one's come back out. Buzz off, fly boy. Let a real monster show you how it's done. From sweet dreams to scary nightmares. Surprise! Surprise yourself, Bozo. <laughs> Five in a row. A new record. I just hope Bessie here can take the strain. <laughs> Jimmy? 
What are you doing in your PJs? Uh, Is it some kind uh, of fleshy fashion uh, craze? You guys uh, are weird. Mom wouldn't leave me alone. I had to pretend to go to bed and then sneak out my window to come and warn you about my dad. He's been boasting all day that him and Freddy Finkelberger huh? are going to trap huh? every monster in Deedstown. And every monster in Deedstown is right here in Freddy's bedroom trying to scare him. <laughs> Good luck with that. The mess Freddy leaves his room in? They'll be lucky if they can even find him. <laughs> You're right. I couldn't even find somewhere to sit down. Wow, I just had a great idea. Freddy might not be scared of monsters, but I think I know something that just might do the trick. You'd better get home before your mom notices you're gone. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you're up for another go after last night, Casper, but let's watch have a go first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bags full! That's never happened before. A new record! Better get the spare. Night-night, ah! <laughs> night, Granddad. Guess I'll deal with the rest of them myself. You'll have huh? to start with me. Remember me, Freddy? We met last night. Yeah, I remember you, the big scary ghost. But Freddy Finkelberger ain't scared of nothing. Oh, no? Not even this? No! Don't touch that! I'm just doing a little tidying up, Freddy. You're not scared of a little spring cleaning, are you? No! Stop it! Get your hands off my stuff! <laughs> Welcome no. back, guys. Here, get yourselves cleaned up. Keep that scary soap away from me! Holly, keep away! No! No! Keep that away from me! <laughs> <laughs> but I had them all! What happened? And the prize for the best bedroom scarer goes to... Casper! <laughs> Say, I guess I'm just naturally scary. Yeah, at last. Triclops her oh. balaclava back, or you'll be one kneecap down. <laughs> it wasn't me! Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Triclops? Huh? Confiscated! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Forget those losers. Come on, let's get mm. breakfast. It's Tripe Flakes today. Everyone always picks on me. It's not fair. What have I ever done to them? Don't worry, Triclops. You've got us. You've just got to learn how to stick up for yourself, that's all. Yeah, I know. At least you guys are my friends. You're right, Mantha. I won't let anyone push me around ever again. That's a promise. Ah! Hmm. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. That doesn't even like Tripe Flakes. He just wants the free ring in every box. Uh -huh. Whoever collects all five different colored rings, places them in a circle on the ground, and then pats their head and rubs wow. their stomach at the same time... ...shall become the Master of Darkness. All right! Don't you think that would be awesome? Having superpowers and being feared by everyone? <laughs> being feared by everyone? Triclops, this is just what you need. Not really. I just need everyone to stop picking on me. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the green one. Thanks to you, I now have all five rings. 
things. I'm going to become Master of Darkness! <laughs> Playtime is over, losers! I'll have you all at my feet! I know. I swore I wouldn't let anyone push me around ever again. This time he's gone too far. We'll get your ring back, and we'll get it back now! Set for the greatest event of all time! Me becoming the Master of Darkness! Huh? Casper! Hey! Let go of me, cursed ectoplasm! Give Triclops her ring back! Huh? Is this a joke? Triclops is such a lousy monster, you have to wonder what she's doing at scare school at all. Mm -hmm. Triclops is a pushover. She's got three eyes and she still can't see what a loser she is. Mm -hmm. Oh. of darkness, <laughs> as if. Wow! Whoa, amazing. Hey, you'll pay for that. Huh? What? I can't wait to see what other tricks you have up your sleeve. Wait! First, I'm gonna get my balaclava back. <laughs> my balaclava? As you all know, I am now the Mistress of Darkness. Which means I have superpowers. Oh, uh, yeah? Like as if. Prove it! <laughs> Friend Triclops had it in her. Yeah. Satisfied? Like, like totally. totally. <gasps> Thank you, Mistress of Darkness. Your wish is our command. In fact, there's just one thing I'd like to have my balaclava back. Mm -hmm. Your balaclava? Ah, uh, yes. The thing is. Where is that balaclava? Uh, it was the fat gargoyle, and he insisted on throwing it in the incinerator along with all the other confiscated objects. It was thrown into the incinerator? So that's why I couldn't make it reappear? A gift from my grandma? Gone forever? This is all your fault! Who? Us? And I'm gonna make you pay! Uh, don't do anything rash, Triclops. I'm sure we can sort this out. Oh, fly to the incinerator. Hmm? It might not be too late. <laughs> Darling, decaying doll! I'm scared of the dark without her! My anti-stress spiky ball! It's my favorite bad luck charm! Quick! I think I have a dollar cover. Please tell me you haven't already burned it. Burned it? No fear of that. The incinerator broke down last week. <laughs> in the meantime, we just put everything in there. Phew. Wow. The headmaster confiscated all this in just one week? But no balaclava. Nope. It's a mystery. The headmaster gave it to me at the pier, but by the time I got to the incinerator, it had vanished. Okay, so you lost it between here and the pier. Mm-hmm. For too long. Well, no more. Oh. Triclops, this is all going a little far, isn't it? Don't worry, Mantha. I'm just gonna have a little fun. That's all. 
that nice little Triclops that everyone picks on is gone forever. Have <laughs> mercy, Triclops. You can take anything, but leave my rubber ducky alone. What's he ever done to you? You want your toy that? Here, he's all yours. <laughs> A game of dodgeball, Monica? Hey, you didn't come across a balaclava near the ship this morning, did you? Sorry, ship's boy. We haven't found a thing. Beaky spent the whole morning repairing this awful tear in the sand. Wait, that's Egyptian tarantula silk. It's the best there is for repairing a sail. This thread, it's from Triclops balaclava. Sorry, Beaky. I have to give it back to my friend. Even in this state, we've got a bit of a situation back there. Ah! <laughs> okay, Raw. This game's over. I really hate trap flakes. <clears throat> <laughs> Look, I found your balaclava. Isn't that great? That's my balaclava! Ah! 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 Now, say goodbye to your toysies! Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, Patch. I've got something even better in store for you. <laughs> Wait, Triclops. I know what to do. We'll knit it again. Knit it again? It's completely ruined! Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Triclops, look! I've already done one hole. <gasps> so soft. So perfect. Thanks, Samantha. You're the best. One last thing. <gasps> Everyone come and get their toys! <laughs> Mickey! Monaco! I have a little job for you! You too, Thatchy Watchy! Go ahead, Triclops. You don't need a bunch of plastic rings to prove who you are. No. Here goes. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. It's more beautiful than ever. It's coming along slowly but surely. I didn't know we had such good knitters at Scare School. This is so embarrassing, knitting me, the master of the Carpathians. Yes, well, it is the Mistress of Darkness's balaclava, after all. Oh, I've had enough. Yeah, all this over a lousy balaclava. Something the matter, Thatch? <laughs> no, not me. Love your work, Mistress. Love your work. <laughs> Ooh, Martha, who's this? Hey, give that back, <laughs> Raw. What? Is it a picture of your boyfriend? Mm. No! He's my pen pal, Frankie. And he's coming to the Monster Mash Ball, so please wow. give that back. <laughs> Frankie and Martha sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. It's not like that, Raw. We're just friends. Yoo hoo, remember the school oh. dance? It's not going to be a monster mash if we don't finish decorating. Ah, oh, children, preparing the monster mash bowl. I remember mine. Oh, I hoped and hoped that night, but, well, ah, oh, those were the days. Gamantha <laughs> sitting in a tree. Oh. No. Don't say anything, but I need your help. I need to look... K-I-S-S-I-N-G! Good, for the... Oh! <laughs> oh I don't want to...
want to look too zombie-ish. Why would you worry about that? Oh, huh. you know what? Forget about it. It was a dumb idea anyway. Oh, I get it. I have a great idea. Uh -huh. How about this? Oh, it's great. How do I look? <laughs> Less zombie-ish? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up with that box? Yikes! <sighs> Don't touch it. I'll deal with the box in a minute. Yoo-hoo, Casper! <gasps> Don't forget to take us to the ball! Oh. We'll, we'll be waiting, waiting for you! Phew. Looks like someone has a double date all his own. Sheesh, he asked me. I feel bad saying no. I don't want them popping in eye sockets. Look at these! So creepy and cool looking. Perfect for the dance. Whoa, cool moves. But save them for the dance, okay? Casper, it's not me! It's the shoes! The shoes are dancing! Huh? Yeah. Samantha, stop messing around. I'm not! They won't come off! I can't stay like this. I mean, oh. just imagine. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. My dance with Frankie will be ruined. Please help me, Casper. We have to get these shoes off. Huh? You hold me still, then pull. <laughs> well, at least we can get the shoes off. Yeah, with my legs attached, duh. Trying to look on the bright side here. Hey, look at this. H-H. What's H-H? I don't know, but it's a clue. Anything to get these shoes back in their box before the dance. That's it, the box. We never checked the shoe box. Nothing. Wait a minute, what's that? It's a letter from 1862, addressed to Hetty Hopper. H-H, of course. It says, to my sweetheart, I hope with all the nuts in my heart that you will make my dream come true and dance with me at the school ball. Nuts in my heart? Who would say that? Wait, there's no signature. <gasps> oh. Miss Hopper had a secret admirer? We've got to find out who it was, and fast! How extraordinary. I've never seen these shoes before in my life. But who was your admirer? Who was it? Can't you tell us anything? Well, there was someone that I liked, but I never knew of any secret admirer. I'm so sorry not to be of more help. This is very strange indeed. Well, there's only one thing we can do. I can't believe Miss Hopper had a secret admirer. Ra, please keep your voice down. Tutorium. Who is Miss Hopper's secret admirer? And how do we get the shoes to stop dancing? There are many admirers under the sun, but the shoes won't stop till heart and music beat as Well, speaking as a ladies' man myself, um, I have no idea what that means. Well, I know one thing for sure now. Those shoes won't stop dancing until we find who wrote that letter and get them dancing with Miss Hopper. Anything? We're, We're working done, on it. Oh, no. My date's going to be ruined. <laughs> like I said, ha, ha, ra. Note to self, this is not a date. Not a date. Hmm. Oh, Casper, we've got to find the answer. The dance is tomorrow. Stop fishing it about! You're ruining the line! There's oh, you! One more smart move and it's detention and no monster mess for you! Quick, take your legs off or there'll be no dance! But then I'll look terrible in the photo, like forever. I have an idea. It's a rat! Yeah. Samantha, if you think this is funny, I'm telling you. Wow, well, like Casper, you're so strong. Uh, lay off those devil cupcakes, why don't you? Have stronger muscles, why don't you? No, hold that pose, children. <laughs> I said don't move. Oh, Casper, you're so fun. 
This is the first time in 945 years that I messed up the monster ball photo. The monster ball photo? Of course. It's got to be in there somewhere. <gasps> Frank and Jim teacher. We declare this year's Monster Mash Ball open. Come on, kids. Get on the floor. I have much better bone structure than you. Oh, oh, double yikes! Mirka, I have to talk to you. I found out. Huh? Perfect! A new boy. And they say photos never lie. Wow. He's even more handsome. Huh? Ah! Oh, oh. That's it. I'm hiding. Thanks, Casper. Don't want those nuts and bolts getting rusty. Nuts in my heart. Of course. Sir, do you like to dance? Oh, no, Casper. Mm -hmm. My moves would terrify anyone I like right off the dance floor and right off me. Maybe not. Wait here. <sighs> Miss Hopper, <gasps> I think we may have our answer. Get ready to dance. <sighs> I've already totally embarrassed myself. I have a plan, but you have to give me your legs. That's the worst plan ever. Ah! What if Frankie spots me? You have to trust me. It's just for one dance. <laughs> I hear you've been waiting to dance with me for 150 oh. years. And I've got these beautiful shoes that feel the same way. Uh, yeah, but they won't make my dancing any better. That's why I never gave them to you. It's not huh? about the dance, but the person you're dancing with. Time to save Mantha's not dance. Excuse me, ladies. May we have this next dance? <laughs> With us. Someone's waiting for you. Hi there, Penta. I believe I owe you a dance. Oh, slight problem. No legs. Duh. I think it's totally cool. All I can do is twizzle my head at 360. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> Come on, let's go spin some heads. <laughs> Miss Hopper, they're all yours. I've found a much better and safer way to dance. <laughs> <laughs>
says to his mother. Oh. <laughs> nice moves. Oops, sorry, but I have some crazy, terrible news. <gasps> My parents are coming. They expected me to have a golden report card to be read out by Alder and Dad <laughs> in person tomorrow. That's great. What's the problem? What's the problem? I don't have a golden report card. Falling asleep in spookology doesn't help. Oh. I was sleepy. Besides, spookology? Seriously? What's to learn? You might want to work on that attitude before your parents get here. This is a disaster! My parents can't know I have a bad report card! Just explain that you'll try harder. <laughs> Tell them I'm failing! <sighs> Mummies, so overdramatic. <laughs> Oh, it's you, Thatch. What do you want? I'd be more polite if I were you. I have a solution to your little situation. Like I believe that. Yep. I can get you that golden report card you need. Interested? Yes! Please! 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 <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, maybe. But what's in it for you? Let's just say you'll be doing me a favor. Meet me in the library at midnight. I'll introduce you to Masva, the answer to all your problems. Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm, delicious. Ra, are you okay? You fainted. We were worried about you. <laughs> Who, me? No, I'm totally cool. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oops, sorry. How come you cheered up so quickly? Fine, I'll tell you. Thatch can get me a five-star report card by tomorrow. I just need to meet him in the library at midnight. Okay? <laughs> Ra, oh. Thatch doesn't help anyone. It's bound to be trouble. You can't go. Yes, I can. My parents expect great things from me. You don't understand the pressure. I'm going, so don't try and stop me. <laughs> oh. Oh. If you do three tasks for me in return, a golden report card would be Anything. I'll do anything. Oh, no. It's midnight. Wake up. <sighs> Come on, Mantha. <laughs> Mazwa, Ra, what have you done? Oh, dear. The goody huh? ghost and his zombie sidekick are, as usual, too late because now your best friend owes Mazva. Only three little tasks. And I have just finished mine, delivering another sucker to Mazva. Raw. I made a deal with Mazva just like him. That's why I'm top of science class. <laughs> Good luck, bandage boy. <laughs> Not so fast, mummy's boy. Complete your tasks by 5 p.m. and this five-star pupil report card is all yours. Fail and bye bye stars and bye bye happy parents. Hmm. Guys, it's fine. My parents arrive in the afternoon. I've got all day to do his tasks. <laughs> Stop worrying. I got it all under control. <laughs> 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 Those. Disgusting. <laughs> I know they're super moldy, but terrifying? Seriously? Only a mummy's boy eats huh? his greens. Your three tasks, well, three and a half. <laughs> I can't do those. I'll get into huge trouble. Exactly. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's why he's called Maz for the Mischief Maker? He's been making trouble at Scare School for years. If you stayed awake in Spookology, you might know that. Raw! Oh, no! Oh. Your parents will be here any minute. 
We must get ready for our school presentations. What? Why? They heard you had a gold star report card. They want to spend extra time at our prestigious school. Okay, I may have called my parents about my great results, but I never thought they'd come early. What about my tasks? Ah! Please, will you help me distract my parents? Please? Of course. You can get up now? Hmm. Passed out again? Where's Raw? Here he is. <laughs> <sighs> Darling, the <laughs> excitement is getting to you. What's this, huh? Raw? Gotcha! <laughs> we hear you got lots of these. <laughs> We're so proud of you that we invited the whole family. <sighs> Fabulous. We have a wonderful day of presentations. See you in the science lab in uh, five minutes. <laughs> oh, my. Ross, such a joker. <laughs> your royal highnesses, just in time for my first experiment. <laughs> Oh. Professor, have you lost your mind? Very clever, sir. <laughs> Great trick. <sighs> Allow me to demonstrate a terrifying gymnastic exercise that consists of... Yeah. Hey, what in the world? <laughs> 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 Unique example in the history of terrifying gymnastics. Levitation! <laughs> As you can see, this is one of our best corridors at the school. And we are so proud. <laughs> oh. 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 Really must fix those ectoplasm <laughs> leaks. <laughs> Do you want to have quite a knack for naughtiness? The gold stars are all yours. Once you've delivered my next victim. Seems the standards of scare school are seriously slipping. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll straighten everything out. I agree. Perhaps our son would be better off somewhere else. Oh, no. I don't want to change school. I don't care if I lose all my gold stars. Wait, I have an idea. It's time to play Mazva at his own game. What if it doesn't work? I got five stars in spookology. I can handle this. <laughs> Where's my next victim? I'm right here. Dumping your best friend in trouble? Rah, you are a real mischief maker. Not so fast. Remember, I get my wish first. And my wish is that you will accept our challenge. That's your wish? Huh. This is going to be easier than I thought. I accept. But if you can't do it, then you disappear from scare school for good. <gasps> but if I can do it, which of course I can, then you have to do 100 tasks for me and no gold star report card. <gasps> so, what's it going to be? Fine. We bet that we can scare you enough you leave scare school screaming like a Baby. You must be choking. Bring it on, golden boys. You have one hour to scare me. Easy. Come on. All this trick in the book can't fail. I've been acing spookology. I guess not. Now I'm glad I was asleep. Because we've got minutes to go, and all we've done is give Mazva five stars and cracking up laughing. Mazva, raw! 30 seconds to go. Can't wait not to be scared again. 30 seconds? That's it! Ha! Ah! 
Ah, I'm the green goblin from the ghoul's garden. Ah. Please go see! Mommy! Ah. <laughs> oh! Bruh, you did it! You scared Mazba out of scare school! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Son, this is very disappointing. I know, Dad. I'm really sorry. We thought you were doing so well. But oh. you don't have gold stars in anything. <gasps> Actually, Raw has shown amazing potential. In spookology. Spookology? What's to learn? You just need to be spooky. That's what I said, Mom. <gasps> um, but I mean, you'd be amazed at what study and skill is required. We're giving him five stars for what we saw him do today. He got rid of a menace who's been messing with our school for centuries. Thank you, sir. <sighs> oh, Ra, we're so proud of you. <laughs>